Okay, so we're going to be doing angles now. Now, um, I'm going to be using artworks that I found on Google Images and also my own artwork, artwork to display this example. So, um, now, what, <coughs> what you want to look at is uh, these lines right here. This is what a line looks like when you're looking up at a thing, at something. And this is what a line looks like when you're looking down at something. But this is making, they're making just U's, just the U shapes. Um, th these levels right here, uh, think of this as like the, you have hot and cold weather. Right between the middle is a balance between hot and cold. It's just, it's just, it's that just right temperature. Think of these as temperatures. Okay, so level one is like the hottest temperature. Level ten is like the coldest temperature. Okay, so um, the just right temperature would be level five. And what do you think the balance of these lines will look like on level five? Well, it will look like a line. You know, um, let me just draw that here. Yeah. Um, Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The balance of this would just look like a line. And what num? What level would that be? That would probably be level five. Okay. You know. And if you wanted to, if you wanted to, uh, you know, put this into like, like make this level three, then this would go like slightly lower, but not lower than level five. Okay. Level five and six and seven, right here. That's you're getting more closer to looking down. So, one example I want to show. Right here. Our, okay. So right here, you see, this, like I like to think of my characters as cylinders, you see. But we'll just go with lines for now. So, right here. This would probably be like a a good level level uh, three. Like right here, you're looking up at him. Yeah, you're looking up at him. Okay, a good level three or so. And um, let's let's go back here again. Like a good level three or so, you know. And as for this character, he's supposed to be he's he's really tall. He's really he's a really big guy. But um, he's like leaning over. <clears throat> yeah, he's like leaning over, looking at you, or so. So um, if he's leaning over, this would. This is where it gets more complex. But since he's le since he's leaning over, it, you're gonna see like a. It's gonna be more of a U shape, like you're looking. Yeah, like you're looking down at him. Because he's putting him, himself forward, but it, it's complicated. But I don't want to get too complex, too complicated with this. But just remember, remember these basic ideas. Remember these basic, yeah. Remember these basic ideas. Looking up is this, and looking down is this. The line is going down when you're looking down. The line is going up when you're looking up. So um, I'm going to be using other examples. Uh, so. I didn't create this. I didn't make this. This is something I found on Google Images. I, I created the, I created this, but not this. But this is a good example that I want to show. So I want you guys to take a guess as to. This is uh hold on. We are going to be, okay. Ignore the ignore uh, this for now. Ignore this for now. We're going to be focusing on level ten. Okay. We're going to be focusing on level 10 with the line going down. So, I want you guys to point out where do you see lines going down? We're looking down at her. Okay? I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to just check the time. Okay? Pause. Just take a guess. And. All right, so we're back. So remember, we're looking for a line that looks like this, like a U. We're looking down on, at her. So um, I'm going to unveil this, unveil this. And if you guess the, these three points, there, there are actually more. 
and there's like the face and whatnot. But if you guess four and if you got these three, then you are correct. You are correct. Um, this right here, this is basically like a you. However, she's just uh, she's making it more. The, he or she, the artist, the artist is making it a lot more complex. But fundamentally, its basic form is just a U or just a curved line. You know? Yeah, just a curved line that looks like this. Okay? So um, I'm going to give another example. Um, this image, for example. Now we're going to go back here. Um, now, we're going to um, cover this. Cover this. We're not going to be focusing on looking down anymore. We're going to be focusing on looking up. Okay? So, um, we're looking up at a person. Now, guess. Now, guess. Just take a guess and, like, uh, you know, select where do you see lines that look like this. Looking up. You're looking up at the person. Where do you see lines that look like that? Okay? So, um, yeah, uh, I'm going to pause the video. So, we are back. And if you guessed these lines, then you're correct. There, there are much more, but just for the sake of tutorial. Yeah, if you guessed these lines, these curved lines, then you're correct. This is more right here. Hold on. Um, this would be more of a... This would be more close to, like, uh, um, level 5. I mean, this would be... Take a guess. This would that would be like level four or three. This right here. This would be like level three or four. So um, now as you can see, there's a circle here. This is going to lead to a more advanced step. So I like to think of characters as uh, cylinders. Okay. So this is pretty much the same thing as these lines. The only reason why I should be erasing this is because, you know, obviously. You know his legs are blocking his coat, so it's you. You won't be able to see it, but this person is fundamentally a cylinder. You know, so just just by erasing that, the the, the lines and the circle are pretty much the same thing. You just won't see the circle because you know it, the coat is going all the way behind the person. So we're gonna use something like this for example. Okay, so I stop my lines here. Okay, but again, I like to think of my characters as cylinders. So we're going to uh, we're going to uh, you know connect this and that. However, it wouldn't make sense because this right here, the thing that I just drew, is right behind the guy. Okay, so the the next step to this is just thinking things in terms of like a, a cylinder that things look like a cylinder. But again, you won't see it. Okay, this is like, this would be like behind the other guy, okay? Um, yeah, this would be behind the, the guy. Um, another one. Uh, again, think of in terms of cylinder, okay? As you can see, she, she has a nice, like a cylinder shape to her. So, uh, again, this is going to go around the same thing. Again, you won't see it because, you know, the face is blocking her. You won't, and you won't see the back of this because you know her, her body, her stomach is blocking this. You won't see the back of this because you know something is blocking it. You know, but just keep keep, keep this in mind. You know, keep this in mind that they are cylinders. These right here are just, yeah. Just keep it in mind that they're cylinders. Th this is all fundamentally like uh, this. Looking up. This looking down is like this. This is the balance, the balance, the neutral state, the the uh, the not too hot, not too cold type of weather. You know. So yeah, keep this in mind when you're doing your uh, when you're doing uh, angles and dominance and submissive angles and, and whatnot. So um, yeah, um, yeah, I, pretty much that's it. So like, subscribe, comment. And later, guys.